Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be winterizing three P-Tacs. I do this every year in this apartment. There's another one right there. And um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to slide them out. And um, they're on heat right now. But, um, you know what? Just so you can hear it running cool for the last time because this may be the only time I'm be doing a video of these units. You know, I'm not going to say anything too soon, but I may be moving to a new job soon, a better job. So, yeah. I just want you guys to hear the old controls. Alright. So, put that back on heat. Turn that thermostat up. And I have to go get this stuff to put behind these. So these are old Island Air units. Uh, 80, I'm trying to see the model number. Easy 12 units. G4A. I-99, so this unit may be from 1999. Or 86. So basically I have to pull this unit out. And you can see the air gap around there. That's a pretty steam coil right on there. So after you push that stuff in the back and you push the unit back in, please be mindful to make sure that you bring tape or something because your Aquastat can fall off and that's what's going to kick your fan on when the steam comes up. So you have to make sure these are attached to the pipe. Make sure your wires and everything are out of the way as well. This one never had a... Uh, build up here to the plenum but the cover when the cover goes over it kind of seals it in so it's able to blow out okay here's the second unit there's our piece and the unit we just worked on that aquastat has a clip so that's good <clears throat> all right Pull this guy out. I got him out. And you just push that piece in like that and nice and tight around the edges and you push your unit back in. Make sure your steam valves are open and reattach your Aquastat on the return line. All right, got the third unit out here. We're in place. Here's a steam coil. Now this is what you gotta look out for. See, this is disconnected. I think I got heat coming up here. Yeah. You got heat, heat coming up here soon. So you gotta you gotta be careful guys. You gotta make sure that these are connected when you winterize so that people can have heat. Here's the inside of the unit. Press it. I cleaned this coil last year, but it's still in still in tough shape. When I pull them back out, dewinterize them for the summer, I um I always clean the coils and stuff. They get dusty from all the construction from the city. All right, so I'm gonna push this guy back in now. I got my Aquastat reconnected here, and the valve is steam valve is all the way open. I insulated more around the side there, and I have some insulation here that I'll put underneath if it needs any more. Jeez, that steam coil's beat up, man. Look at that thing. Boy, they gotta replace the steam coils here soon enough. It's not good. It's not, well, I mean, it's probably, it may be pitched like that actually to help with the condensate, but it's still not in good shape. All right, on to the next unit and last. So here it is, the last unit. Another aisle in there. Got my piece in here. There's the valve. This one's tight because the unit pushes up against this valve handle and that trap. push this guy back in and you insulate around the side so no air can come through. There's a steam coil. So yeah, typically in these PTAC installations you have a steam coil or hot water coil up here and your PTAC slides in the chassis like so. Um, your Aquastat usually is on the return line because it likes to get the full coil hot before it turns the fan on. It's like an efficiency thing. And um, 
The main thing with PTAX is clean the outdoor condenser coil and like any other AC, you know, they're just a little bigger. That's it. So, it's almost 5 o'clock, time for me to go home. Let's slide this guy back in and get this over with, shall we? Guys, well, hope you enjoyed the video. I couldn't film the rest because a tenant came up and I uh, just wanted to see what was going on. So, uh, that was that. That was how to winterize PTAX, a little bit about how they're set up. And just showing you some older PTAX. So, thank you guys for watching and Mike out.